Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. You know, every year I get a list of companies that are releasing new guns. A lot of time they're secret under what we call embargo, which means they have a secret release date. Few companies catch my attention as much as SIG, however. And recently when I got a call that they had a new pistol coming out, they had my attention. We flew down to Florida to see what the buzz was about. And in short order, we found out that SIG is releasing a new 22 caliber pistol. It is the SIG P322. Now, what I found during my time with SIG was that this is not your grandfather's plinker. 22s are a lot of fun, I get that, and I enjoy them. But this is a much more serious gun. While we can obviously use it on the range to shoot cans and targets, it's essentially a full-size gun. It's a cross between size-wise between the 320 and the 365. It's got a lot of good grip on it. Uh, it's extremely well made. And more importantly, this gun's going to eat about anything. And that's a very important factor that SIG put into this. One of their testing criteria, function criteria, was that it had to eat pretty much any 22 ammo that you can get. Not the premium stuff, but the junk that you and I honestly get as soon as we can get our paws on it. They ran pretty much everything through this gun. And what's amazing is that the mean stoppage between or how often the gun stopped was once every 1,000 rounds. Now, I've got some very nice 22s, target 22s, that don't have that reliability. Uh, the fact that it runs such a wide variety of 22 ammo is a pretty slick deal. Uh, the gun's extremely well made. It's got SIG DNA. It's got the design features all about it. It's comfortable in the hands. And it is a feature-rich gun. And SIG is using those points as a marketing tool for the P322. In fact, there are 21 points. So first up, 21 round capacity. 20 round magazine, one round in the chamber. Makes shooting a lot more enjoyable. You have to stop and reload all the time. So SIG is also making a 25 round version. It's gonna be essentially the same design, but it's gonna have a small extension on it to give us five more rounds. The gun is optic ready, which is a feature I see on most serious handguns today. It's a nice feature. The gun also has a threaded barrel adapter. I'll have to slide back, remove this current barrel tip, and add the extension on there. Allows you to have a threaded barrel, put your suppressor on it. The gun comes with a 1913 rail. In the event that you want to mount a laser or a light, it's a nice feature. The gun is completely made in the United States of America. Made in USA is a very big deal now, and has always been. Even the magazines are made in USA. The gun has a manual safety. So operation wise, with a single action only, internal hammer, uh, makes it a very nice shooting gun. So the gun has ambi controls, which is really, really nice for our left and right handed shooters or those who choose to transition from left to right. It's a great feature. The rear side on the gun is adjustable. Now a quick note on that, this is a fixed barrel gun. Uh, there's very little motion and that gives it a very, very high rate of accuracy. SIG knows that and they also know that you're probably going to want to tune the gun even further so we have an adjustable rear sight. Another thing is the gun is fast. What I mean by that is obviously low recoil, it's got a good weight balance and the gun is fast. And with that in mind, they wanted to put a sight on there that's very quick to acquire so they used a fiber optic front sight on the gun. A very unique thing about the gun is that it includes two triggers. Now these are trigger phases. So you have a straight trigger and then a curved trigger. And all you need to do is pop the face off and put it back on. Essentially there's a, there's a metal trigger face there and you can choose the face that you want on it. So SIG tries to be as friendly as they can to the gun community. And with that in mind, they include two 20 round magazines. Another nice feature is cost of training. We were finally coming out of the great ammo famine but ammo is still tough to get in certain places and it's still expensive. Running 22 caliber ammo is a nice change, allows you to get more rounds downrange without breaking the bank. Takedown on this gun is extremely easy. Since we have a fixed barrel, there's no need to worry about that. I'll lock the slide to the rear, flip the lever up, pull the slide to the rear, and lift it off. It is as simple as that. The next one is ergonomics. The gun is well designed. It fits well in my hand. It's comfortable. It's got a nice undercut near the trigger guard. 
The stippling, the texturing on it is is good, but not abrasive. And they've taken really all the harsh edges off of it. It's a very easy shooting, easy to point gun. So with a look at longevity, function, accuracy, and overall performance, SIG has made the frame out of stainless steel. A very durable, and it's a nice feature on the gun. At the same time, SIG has made the slide out of aluminum. Actually, it's aluminum alloy. It's very light, but still very, very durable. The gun has solid cocking serrations. We obviously have the rear serrations and the front serrations. What's nice is that they angle slightly up towards the top. Allows well, a little bit easier purchase, easier purchase on the gun. So SIG knows the gun is fast as well. And one thing that they've done to kind of help us with that is integrated a flared magwell. This is a very nice feature. Uh, when it comes time to really get going and put the pedal to the metal, you're gonna drop that existing mag, put your fresh one in there, and it feeds very, very quickly. That's a very nice feature. Last but not least, SIG has included a magazine loader. While these 22 magazines have the tabs on the side to help us push it down, they've created a device that slips over the top and makes it very easy to load these magazines. Overall, I am very impressed with the performance of the P322. We shot thousands of rounds of these guns without oiling them and without cleaning them. I was very impressed. It was fun to shoot, and I really think this is going to be a winner for SIG. If you're looking for a gun that's enjoyable to shoot, as well as a solid training tool, I would highly encourage you to look at the P322. So until I see you again, stay safe.